Nope. Come on. What's with the name, a week away? A week away. Every once in a while, somebody was just a week away from an experience that changed everything for them. So if you hear it, you'll hear it, you'll hear it too. I'm Avery. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, hello, you two. Hi, Ann. I always like to have a sense of place about where a movie is shot and how it affected things. So here you were in the woods. Was it in uh, British Columbia? It was actually in Nashville, Tennessee. No uh, way. Yeah, yeah. You would never be able to tell, but there's a small lake there with a camp called Camp Widgeywagon, which is owned by the YMCA. Uh, and there's a forest nearby where we shot a lot of the stuff. Uh, but it's really all taking place on the campgrounds, just in different settings. What a great way to spend a few weeks, right? In the summertime. Truly. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, you know, it was, uh, did you shoot it before the pandemic or did you uh, shoot it under very strict restrictions? No, we were able to film it before the pandemic hit. We filmed it uh, pretty much summer of 2019, uh, which is crazy to look back because in a way, you know, the movie's so symbolic to a time before all of this, when there was such a community and touch and activities and, uh, I feel so fortunate to have had that set experience before going into this world because now sets are so different and it's you can't touch each other and you have to get tested every day. So I feel grateful that we all got to got to experience that, you know, one last right. time before all of this happened. How nice. What a great memory to help carry you through. Get out of your league, trust me. Her dad owns the place. If I'm going to fit in here, I have to be something I'm not. Well, this will be fun. Good luck, Will. You're going to need it. Turn it up! singing too much i couldn't decide no no thing. no that's what got me oh the singing mm -hmm. nice now kevin your character is a young man who's um in a bit of trouble and instead of going to juvie they send him to summer camp to a faith-based summer camp and he, he has quite an arc and i just wonder if you can um describe a little bit to me without necessarily giving everything away his journey yeah. I, I can definitely describe the arc. Uh, I think I was dealing with a lot of stuff myself at the time that we were shooting this. Uh, originally, I was cast for the role of Sean, but I insisted oh. to production that I, I should maybe be playing Will instead. Uh, so I re-auditioned and I subsequently uh, was offered the role. Um, Great. And it was just a really fitting role for the, the time that it was in my life. And I thought, well, I've got all this going on. I, I really feel like I could use this pain uh, to the benefit of the character to do him justice. So we see Will kind of dealing with uh, grief and pain at the beginning. Uh, and there really is an arc to when he meets Avery, to when he meets George, a lot of the other campers. Uh, and he really just finds a place where he belongs. And there's even a song about it uh, somewhere in the film called Where I Belong. I think it's one of the more special. Yeah. Movies. And I must say the music is tremendous and, and you both perform. It really, it just, it, it just bounced you along in this, in this, uh, sort of romance, comedy, drama. It was a lot of different things. Now, Bailey, you put me in mind of a, of a very young Sally Field. I don't think you would know her. Of course I do. From yeah. those days. That's a compliment. It, she's wonderful. Yeah, she is. And she's, uh, she's very sunny and warm the way your character is. And did you identify with that yourself? I mean, did she have, a, do you have a very upbeat attitude towards things? I would like to think that I do. I always, I'm always be curious to like see myself from someone else's point of view. Right. <laughs> um, I've been told during my my life here for the last 21 years that uh, I do. Everyone's always like, you're always smiling, you're always laughing. I do. I, I, I genuinely, I would like to think I'm a, I'm a pretty happy person, um, and I like laughing. Yeah. So it was fun to get to you know play that with Avery. Um, I was, you know, the last time I was on a set before that, I was screaming and crying and running from things. And so it's always quite nice just to get to be happy. <laughs> you are perfect, aren't you? No. I'm like trying to be what everybody expects me to be. It is exhausting. I totally get it. Looking for a reason. so long since I felt so connected. Well, you know, you've also got quite a body of work. You've done an awful lot of, uh, uh, done an awful lot of performances in film. Um, you know, you're in a very lucky situation. And, and Kevin, you perform so beautifully. You're both 
beautifully showcased in this film. Uh, and did you did you come away with that feeling? I did. You know, I think one of the things that I love so much about this movie is um, is Kevin's work in it. I'll be honest with you. I remember watching, and that this is true. I remember watching the final cut. Um, because I was able to co-produce this. So I remember working through everything and going through the cuts and sitting with my mom and watching it. And I was like, it's so cool for me because I had never, I've never really been able to play um, that person that kind of guides the ensemble in a sense, you know what I mean? And like, I think that attracted me so much to the character was uh, was getting to, to have that different taste and to get to watch Kevin pull the ropes wow. in a single scene uh, and to sit back and enjoy that. So. Uh, I, I am. I'm, I'm thrilled that we got to do this together. That's fantastic. That's that's quite a, an honor for you, Kevin. So oh. congratulations to you both. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much Ian. We yeah. Bye bye. He's lying to you. Will isn't who he says he is. So what? Do you just run away? You don't know anything about me. You're not gonna believe me. I don't need you to fix me. I'm not trying to fix yeah, right. you, Will. Your parents would be really proud of you. you